guys, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I made you a video that was on a promoted listings nightmare that I had in my eBay store. I wanted to come back and give you the graphs and show you the data and show you what's happened to my impressions in my store since I've changed up and got my promoted listing campaigns going again. But just for context, let me just give you a quick little reminder here of what actually happened. For 18 months, I had had my store on a promoted listing campaign of a flat 5% and I decided to change it up and I decided to make it a promoted listing campaign that had a variable rate. When I paused my campaign, I didn't realize that by pausing it, it would mean that my listings would need seven days after it paused to actually start the new campaign up. Because I didn't have any promoted listings running, I got no traffic, no impressions basically to my eBay store. And I think I'd had five sales over the entire weekend, which is very unusual for my store. Now, obviously when this happened, I went into a little bit of a panic mode. The problem was that I paused the campaign. If I had just deleted my campaign and then set up a new campaign, my listings would have transferred across, but I paused the campaign thinking, oh, well, if it doesn't work, I'll just go back to the one that I paused. <laughs> and that was my mistake, guys. So what I actually did after this whole big debacle was I went into my store, I ended nearly 4,000 items that I had listed in my store, and I relisted them. And by relisting all my items, they went automatically into the new campaign that I'd set up. Ending and relisting your whole store made me very, very nervous. Now you've got to remember that I live in Australia and in Australia, part of our store subscription means we get up to 250,000 items that we can list in our store every month as part of our store fee. Now over in America and UK, it's a little bit different. You've got lower listing levels than what we do. So if you do end and relist your entire store and you're in another country, you might actually get hit with quite a large amount of fees and extra insertion fees for selling, um, for relisting in your own store. So I don't recommend it without um, very carefully thinking about it. And also when you do end and relist your store, you, you lose that data of when you originally listed your item in the first place. Okay, let me just pull up my promoted listings performance graph here and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you can see that my graph for the whole of September where I was running a promoted listing campaign of a flat 5%, my impressions that I was getting from that promoted campaign were very consistent throughout that whole month. So you can see on the 24th of September how they automatically dropped right down to nothing when it meant that I had no promoted listings running in my store. So the new campaign that I'd started was me trying to experiment with instead of having a flat fee of 5% over my promoted listings, I had decided to try a variable rate. So I'd set it so that the items that were listed in my store for under $20 were on a variable rate of 5% and anything over $20 in my store was set at a variable rate of 9% promoted listing. So the whole idea of me testing this was to see if I was able to get more listing impressions from doing a variable rate than it was from doing the standard flat 5% rate. On this day, I relisted a small amount of items in my store to see if it would get it going again. But this is the day here where I actually ended and relisted my entire store of nearly 4,000 items. So for the next week, I watched these impressions quite carefully to see where they were going with the new promoted campaign of the variable rate. And you can see that they kind of grew up to about here on the 27th. Then they kind of plateaued for a bit. They went down and they came up again. And on the 2nd of October, they peaked at 49,000 views. But you can see the listing impressions are still nowhere near where they were beforehand when I was on this flat rate of 5%. And on the 3rd and the 4th of October, my listing impressions were now going back again. And I knew I needed to change something up again. So it had been a whole week on this new campaign. And I just hadn't been able to get those listing impressions back up to where they'd been when I was on the promoted campaign of a flat 5%. So what I decided to do was start a new campaign. And don't worry, guys, this time I deleted the other one instead of pausing it. But I started a new campaign and I basically kept it the same. I just switched it from a variable weight to a flat rate. So all the listings that I had in my store that were up to $20, I put them on a flat rate of 5% promoted. And all the listings that I had in my store over $20, this time I moved them from the variable rate to the flat rate of 9%. So exactly the same 
just flicked it from variable to flat rate, this is what happened. So it was the 4th of October here that I started the new campaign and by the 5th of October my listing impressions were starting to go up again. By the 26th they'd gone down just slightly maybe by about five or six hundred but then they started to climb again and yesterday which was the 9th of October I saw them hit their peak at 71,000 which I think is as high as it got for the month of September so it's taken me since the 25th of September to the 9th of October to get my listing impressions back up to where they were. Now obviously this drop here in the graph is just because that is today and obviously it's early morning here and it hasn't had time to calculate my full day's worth of impressions. It will be interesting to see if I can get it to climb higher than yesterday's or if it's going to plateau or drop back down. Now I thought this graph was quite interesting as well because take a look at my page views and look at the day here where I relisted my entire store. Look how many more organic views I had in my store for a burst when I'd relisted my entire store. And take a look at the external views for the last five days. They're much higher than they've been. So maybe because I'm actually promoting at a higher rate, that's also pushing my listings more into the external websites like Google to give me higher views. So that's something interesting that I'm going to be watching. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting is my sales graph. It kind of matches the listing impressions graph. So when the listing impressions are down, the sales are down. And as those listing impressions went up, the sales went out. As they started to drop, the sales went dropped. And as they started to climb again, the sales have gone up. So it's taken me 15 days to get my listing impressions back up to where they were after my debacle. So doing this whole promoted listing like experiment for the last two weeks has opened my eyes again to how important it is to be getting your impressions up into your store. And it's really made me aware that I should be looking at my graphs a little bit more often so that I'm really like taking note of when my page views and my impressions are dropping. It's one thing to have all these coupons and sales and everything going in your store, but if you're not getting the impressions, nobody's actually going to be making use of those special deals and coupons and stuff because you're not actually getting the impressions to show anyone your items. I know a lot of people are against promoted listings and they don't like paying the fees that come with them. However, when you think about it, for the last six days, I've made $900 worth of sales that have come from promoted listings and those promoted listings have only cost me $60 in fees. So if somebody asked me six days ago, Mel, would you pay $60 to get $900 worth of sales? The answer is hell yes. I don't mind paying more fees because the more money I'm paying in fees means the more sales I'm actually getting. The more sales I'm actually getting means the more money that's coming into my pocket. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on my promoted listing campaigns to see whether I can keep getting them higher and higher than what they were because I was actually surprised in the comments and the DMs how many people sent me messages saying that they change and restart their promoted listing campaigns every single week? And here's me. I hadn't changed mine for 18 months. I actually love running experimentations on my own store because sometimes they're really eye-opening and I learn a lot from it. Anyway, I will keep you updated if anything dramatically changes, drops or increases in the next couple of weeks. But otherwise, that's it for the promotion listing debacle and good luck with your own experiments. See ya.